Lee coming to you live from the Keys to Success show. And as you know, today is Friday. And on Fridays, we love to interview power couples. It is my absolute pleasure to introduce Jason and Miss Hilly. They are absolute powerhouses out of New Jersey, New York, real estate entrepreneurs, extraordinaires, and parents of three amazing children. I want to thank you guys so very much for coming on the show today and give you a moment to introduce yourself to our viewers. Sure. So great. Well, thank, thank you, you so much. Excited to be here. So, yep, Jason, here you say we're in New Jersey. Uh, we do multifamily syndication. That's our core focus. Um, we're general partners across uh, 850 units um, spread through the Midwest and Southeast. Um, it's been a focus of ours since 2017. We also have a podcast called the Jason Pity Project um, that focuses on mental fortitude, improving health, and building wealth. Wow. Uh, he basically said everything. <laughs> <laughs> Phenomenal. And, and you can introduce yourself. Ms. Pili? Uh, my name is Pili. Uh, we have, since Jason introduced the entire business, I will take care of our families. Like you said, we have three amazing children. Um, we are really, the, the, they are a big why. This is why we do it. We do it for, for each other and for our children. And if any of your viewers need help with anything, just let us know. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us a little backstory. You said that you are real estate, uh, exactly what you guys do. You you do real estate syndication? Yeah, so we buy apartment buildings. Uh, we look for apartment buildings that are distressed, whether it's on the property side or the management ownership side. And what we do is we look to make them better places for, for people to live. And we use communication or syndication, which is basically pooling funds from investors and friends so we can all buy a larger property and all benefit from the economies of scale. So when we buy an apartment building, we look for what's happening with the building and where we can improve, whether it's on the revenue side or the expense side. We'll see if it's a master meter property where the owners are paying a lot of utilities. We'll see how we can really improve the utility structure of the property and reduce the expenses that way. We'll see how we can if, make the management systems more efficient so we can also cut down redundancy on that side. On the revenue side, of course, there's always the ability to look at the rent protocol, but we look at a lot of other ways that we can improve income streams and from adding on missing income streams like pet fees or late fees or application fees to finding new income streams like adding on a cable contract or adding on um, a laundry contract or something else that will provide additional revenue for the property. Wow. Our, from the Jason Peely project deals with living a fitter, richer life. And this is, this is our way. So our missions is to raise communities and that comes from our construction company of raising homes so we're using that we want to raise communities not only in our in our investment strategies but in in our lives and in those lives that we can touch too we hope to help at least one person a day live a fitter richer life uh, no matter if we need to help you like exercise more have a better mindset get into real estate we want to we just want to be there to help Wow. I love that. And I know fitness, when it comes to fitness and real estate and just in life, it is so very important to incorporate in that, that into your everyday life. What are some of your keys to staying committed to it? Because I know, Jason, didn't you recently have a challenge, like a 30-day challenge you were doing? What is the keys to your success in staying committed to following through with things like that? So it just comes down to making a part of your life, right? When you commit to saying, I'm going to have a better life, I'm going to have a better life on my finances, on my fitness, on my um, financial, on my faith, on my family. And this is something I do. It's what I do. And when you put that ingrained into you, then it doesn't become this hurdle that you constantly have to overachieve. And now when you really commit to having a healthy life, this is something that is just implemented into your, your routine. So yeah, I just finished last night, a um, last run of the month, which was 30 miles. I had done 465 miles for the month running. Um, it, it was a, a beast of a, of a race and a beast of a run, a beast of a challenge, but it just sets forth more ways for me to stress and test myself. And really Peely and the kids are right there with me because they give me the support, they give me the background because every day is a new challenge, right? And whether it's it's physical or, or it's mental or it's a combination of both, you have that mental, physical test that you constantly have to excel past, but having the, the backbone, which is my family there with me, cheering me on, supporting me through it, that's what really continues to allow our family to, to just find new ways to grow. Wow, and what is the name of the program that you have that you, that you were explaining, Ms. Billy? Uh, this is the Jason Peely Project. Um, the Jason, and that's 
sorry, that's the one where you keep continue to like reiterate as far as working out and everything else. That was the name of it. Yes, yes. Wow. This is where our podcast platform. We're on YouTube. We're on uh, any place that you can hear a podcast. We are on all the social platforms. This is where we we are committed to living a fitter, richer life and showing what we do and showing everybody else that they can do it too. It's about finding fulfillment in life. And that's what it is because fit rich life does not have to be, you know, ripped with a six pack with, with a mansion, with a Ferrari. It can be a healthy, active, mm -hmm. going in the woods, making $45,000 a year and just being happy as a clam, right? And it yeah. doesn't have to be, it, it's something that you see on Instagram. It can be, what is your why? How do you find your why? And then how do you fulfill that why by just finding the steps in your day to make sure that you're meeting everything that now your mind, your body, and your soul wants. Wow, powerful stuff. So I want to back up a little and talk about you guys as a couple. How long have you been married? How long have you guys been together? Uh, well, we've known each other since 2003. Uh, we uh, on a barge in New York City uh, off uh, Chelsea Piers. This is back way back before Chelsea was what it is today all pretty and the park and and it's so so nice now <laughs> back in those days it was like i would walk around my my keys would be around my my wrist wow. anywho so we met back in 2003 we worked together we both uh bartended together and managed this restaurant together wow. um and then cut to so the real story is it took me about 10 years to, to convince her to take look my way right and so that, that's the real story back in wow. 2013 um, after Pili had moved away, she had moved um, to California, and then she had moved back home to Hawaii. Um, we found each other and, and got together, and uh, it's been amazing ever since. But it, it's it's something that a lot of people ask, well, well, how do you work with your wife? And we we started out working together, so yeah. it was something that was always ingrained to us. But but really, the the thing that's always stood out is that we've always talked to each other about things, and we don't let little things that really are so insignificant create altercations, right? Because they're just there's not enough time in the day in the world and our lives to worry about small things that are insignificant that that a week from now, a month from now, you know, we won't even remember. So we focus on the big things and if there's something that's not sitting right with each of us, we just address it right away and just get, get out of the way. And I know you probably hear this from a lot of couples or just a lot of people in general that communication is key. Yeah. It is that's that's how we based our friendship and our working relationship before we had a working relationship for years if we weren't working well and trust me our boss used to pit us against each other all the time because we have different mindsets yeah. um, without the communication the restaurant would have fallen apart and the bar would have fallen apart and nothing would have gotten done so we had to learn how to communicate so for all the couples who right now if you're not communicating with your spouse your significant other try try it <laughs> yes yes yeah that's super important so would you say that communication and just that is, is a big part of the foundation of of your relationship as a couple is that the the ability to be able to communicate effectively in yeah. business and in life you I, I think when COVID started we already had had the conversation that if we ever had a point where um, something came up that Pili was going to go all family and I was going to go all business. And that, and so we already had that talk. And so it made it a clean route. There wasn't a lot to figure out because she just went all in, you know, morning times with, with the family and everything else. But it, we, we've had enough communication over the times that there's days when I know Pili needs her time in the morning and needs to, we need to transition. And now it doesn't have to be communicated because we've already had that talk track, right? So there's a process we're now doing each day and it's wonderful. It's mm -hmm. great having the kids home. It's great experiencing just the growth that happens from a day to days with little kids, as you know, and, and for that to see it happening live, but still now doing our business from home, um, it's just made it that much better, that much more special. Wow. That is amazing and extremely powerful. So you guys have had, a plan in place prior to like, God forbid, if anything ever happens, this is what we'll do and this is how we'll execute it. So along with communication, having that clear plan of if this happens, this is what we'll do and knowing the roles of what you'll do in your, in your marriage and in your, you know, in your partnership. 
Yeah, and no one could uh, could have predicted it would be a virus, right? But we we just had that, right? So okay, if something happens where we just need to divide our time accordingly, this is how it's going to be, and it's never perfect, but at least it's a start, it's something to build off, so you can prepare. And a lot of that's just like business or anything else, right? You 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 don't know where you know where you want to go, but the route to get there is is going to be unknown, right? So you set the course for what you think is going to be the course to get yourself there, and then now at least you have a basis. And then you're going to pivot accordingly as you move along to the goal. Wow. That, that is phenomenal. So uh, with, with the real estate company and the little ones, how important is incorporating family into your business? Oh, it's huge. That's everything. Yeah. It just, like I said before, like there's no real balance. Like you can't balance everything, right? It's mm -hmm. like balancing 50 plates, like doesn't happen, but we know that having the finance, the fitness, the faith and the family, as long as we're touching on all of those, buttons, making sure we're hitting that in each part of our day, then we're fulfilling what we want to do really as a couple, as a family for our future. And I want to, I want to pinpoint the fact that we're a couple, but we also need to take time to ourselves because mm -hmm. you need to fill your cup in order for it to run over into these buckets, faith, family, um, and everything else. Cause if you don't satisfy yourself first and you don't fill your cup first, mm -hmm. then have enough. And that's where, that's when stress and miscommunication happens when you are not fulfilled. Right. Wow. That's powerful. And I love that. So it's the three F's you said, family, faith, and finances and, and future. I heard you guys say as well. So four of them, and, you know, just having that clear, understanding of where you guys are going and what is required of each and, and respecting, I guess, each other's personal time so that you both can grow individually as well as a couple. That's phenomenal. Yeah. 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 I love it's, it. For us, it's been huge for us to make sure that we're, we're having a, like, there's no perfect path in life. And I think lots of times a disappointment comes up because we get so focused on what we think is the perfect life, but ultimately the route and the, the the journey is everything that you you spend your time on and so we really put the time into okay here's our goals but now what can we do to really just make sure that every part of the journey is operating or or being optimized at, at the best it can be wow that's powerful so tell me this you guys were in the restaurant you met you had a you know a, a relationship that blossomed into an amazing friendship and and partnership how did you guys get into real estate investing from that point so back in 2014, um, we decided to, well, we, we got pregnant with our first child and we just moved to New Jersey. Jason told me all about his hometown, this place called Westfield, New Jersey. School systems were excellent. He grew up there. I was like, I'm done, done. So we moved, we packed up our, our little apartment in Chelsea and we moved into the city or moved into the suburbs and Westfield has been amazing since then. Being pregnant, I did not want, I did not want to um, go back into into the restaurant business. So we had to figure out what was the next step. Yeah, we moved into uh, running and working with the family construction business, and it was so busy because Hurricane Sandy had just happened up here, and our business is allocated for storm work. So we got to the point that we could have worked. If there was eight hours and you know if there was 24 or 25 hours in a day and not, you know nine days a week we could have used them because we were so busy but having a family and knowing that one of the buckets that we want is to have filling in, fulfillment in our family we knew we couldn't go at this pace we knew it wasn't sustainable and it wasn't really what we wanted to do for our core life and so we kept thinking of what does that do and it kept bringing us back to real estate so we started did flipping did wholesaling did some airbnbs started with a lot of different things and it took to Healy making a connection with someone who was buying small um, rental properties out of state that we saw that and we did that and it did very well. And we said, wow, if we can do this on this scale, small, why can't we just 10 exit, 20 exit, 50 exit and go from a three unit to a 50 unit to a hundred unit. And we went from buying these smaller properties, two and three families to buying our first one, which was a 94 unit. I'm going to actually get here because Yes, I, I actually brought the smaller duplexes in out of state to the table. Um, I normally don't do that. I normally don't go searching for the like, next best thing. Um, I'm more of the influencer, but that came onto my plate. I was like, Jason, what about this? So when that happened, of course, Jason, with his mind, took it to that next level, took it to 50 units, 100 units, 1,000 units, and my mind kind of exploded. I think I was 
I think I was pregnant with our second child at that point. And I was like, I don't know if I can handle that. Wow. So this is just a, the only reason why I'm bringing up the story is because this is like a lesson in mindset and mind shifting. So my mind hadn't shifted yet. It, Jason's mind shifted quickly into large multifamily. I actually had to see it. So if any of your listeners out there are thinking about getting to large multifamily and are afraid of the numbers, think of it this way. You need to think a little bigger. Like it's just, it's kind of like taking down a single house, except just with bigger numbers and a little bit more, a little bit more to it. Um, but I did have to make that shift and seeing it and seeing us do it and taking the time to educate myself is what took me to that mind shift and the mindset of looking toward the future and looking into something bigger. Wow. That is extremely powerful. So now you guys said you in, in the house, you have 850 units that you're managing. That is, and they're all across the Midwest and the West coast. That is phenomenal. So now, I mean, in that since 2014, it's 2020 now, where, where do you see you guys growing from this point? Cause that's amazing. You know, we don't, we don't call it as a number goal. We just say that we want to continue to help as many investors out there fulfill their needs. And so we look for opportunities and we'd like to do one opportunity per quarter. Um, but for year, that's fine too. It, we, we are not in a point where we, we make sure we buy. We're at a point that we're, we're passively aggressive to find the right opportunities for our core network. And we know if that we're doing the steps and we're doing the processes to continue talking to our network, continue to get out there in front of brokers, continue to network with our, our core understanding of investors that we work with, that those opportunities will come. Wow. So basically, another way to think about the way we're thinking is that we don't have to buy and we're not going to force the numbers to make sure that we can buy because forcing the numbers is where a lot of people, especially in this day and age, since we're in COVID, that's where people are starting to get hurt. They're going to get hurt and they're going to start losing their properties because they did not take into effect that something might happen and something has. Wow. Yeah. So very true. So very true. So, I mean, with real estate syndication and growing your business and growing your brand, what are some of the keys to success that you would give? And I know, you, you know, with people that are interested in getting into real estate investing um, and they're in a, in a the relationship, what are some of the keys to success that you would give? Have fun. Take Definitely it. have fun. Yeah, take action. It's you, if you were to be four or five years old again and you try to read a book to ride a bike, you know where that would have gotten you. And so you have to take action. Now, it's not to be reckless, but you have to start the motion and movement to one, um, understand the process more, two, actually know if you even like it, and three, learn some of the ins and outs of the business. And so that's definite. And then perseverance, right? There, there's 98% of America or people out there are gonna, who are gonna quit, and there's 2% who aren't. And the 2% are, aren't come out eventually on the better side of things because they just say, okay, I know this is tough, but I'm gonna do it. And why they're the one out of 10 that are doing it, everybody else is sitting there thinking about it. Wow. Yeah. And by having fun is that if, if you don't enjoy it, yes, you can make money from real estate. Yes, it does allow us to do certain things. It's, but the reason why we, we're so good at it is because we like doing it. We yeah. like digging into the numbers. We like helping people. Mm -hmm. And with multifamily real estate, we get to help a ton of people, not only our investors, but our tenants. And we get to help the community I mean, there's so many ways that you can help the world by getting into this asset class. Wow. That, that's super powerful, super powerful stuff. So you have, I mean, with real estate and, and family life, syndication, what are some of, like, when it comes to education, and I mean, it's a continuous education, if someone wants to learn, do you guys have a course or anything else out there like that? Yeah, sure. So multifamilyfoundation.com, uh, we help other people who want to talk about either learning to invest or investing in deals. And they can go there and see more about what we do. Um, but it's it's really, we take the same steps in our course that we do ourselves to buy apartment buildings. And it, when you treat it as a process,
that has predictable steps that you need to accomplish. It one puts you as e at ease and two gives you the background and the backbone to go out there and accomplish your mission. And then if you just want to learn more about us, please check us out at the Jason and Peely Project. That's the name of our YouTube channel and podcast. I mean, that's where we put everything, all of our content from multifamily, everything real estate to fitness to mindset like that. That's basically our channel. It's the Jason Peely Project. And it's our project of helping people live a fitter, richer life. And, and I actually want to talk a little bit about that because that's how I found you guys. I know you guys were featured about two days ago on the Gary Vee show and you were discussing your podcast and your show and just how amazing it is in the growth of the show. What made you guys start the show and how often do you do your recordings? And can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. So this show is daily on uh, Monday through Friday and wow. we, started it back in 2017, really just as something that we wanted to add in, really one to help others that, that just really a give back, right? Because we have a lot of great people on there that just talk about the, the steps they've taken and the missteps steps to get where they are. And two, it's just, it's another way to, to be a thought leader within your brand. Mm -hmm. And we really, we learn a ton from it. We get to meet a ton of people doing a bunch of great things out there, like yourself, who are really going out there, taking action, saying, I'm getting started today. Here's what I'm doing. and we've not only met a lot of great people, but made a lot of great friends from it. And the thing is our podcast and our platform has had growth, tremendous growth over the years. And it's changed. Like before we just started as a real estate, it was called the real estate investing foundation podcast. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was all real estate. And then we kind of like came down to nitty gritty and we were like, okay, we're just going to talk about multifamily. And then Jason and I sat down one day and we we're just like, you know what? There's so much more we can offer. For. How can we branch out? In 2018, 2019, we really, really just wanted to focus. That was one thing that was missing from our life was extreme focus. So we ex focused extremely on large multifamily. Yeah. And then now we branched out and we opened up our lives. And now we, we know that this platform is where we belong because we can help the most people here and just kind of get our word, our, our word of positivity and focus and and all the all the great stuff yeah i love that wow that's phenomenal so five days a week i mean keys to success we air three days a week how do you guys do it five days a week with three little ones and what at what times do you air and how long is the show so we have our live broadcast every day at noon and we just i mean right now i know you guys have seen this our kids are just running in mm -hmm. uh asking us for help i go and this is, okay, this is another focus on communication. I'm the one that goes. So we've already discussed that. So I know when the kids come in, I stop talking and Jason takes over and I go. So that's just another tidbit of the communication. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, that's how we communicate and get to our- Yeah, and we bulk them so, so we can have a bunch of interviews on one day. And really sometimes the podcast can be anywhere from two minutes to 40 really is where it comes out. And because sometimes it's just our thoughts that have come to us, you know, what's with Paramount for the day, what's something that's um, been notable that we want to make sure that the audience can understand. And then the next one will be an interview with just a great guest will come on. And then the, the interviews I have, you know, it was supposed to, it's, it's the Jason Peely project, but when COVID happened, it was like, I was doing my interviews and Jason was doing his, his interviews. Cause I also have some, uh, kind of side project called the mothers of multifamily that comes up Mondays, every Monday. And I have these amazing mothers that are in multifamily and they're, they are fantastic women, but that's the reason why we did second cup of coffee with Jason and Peely. Cause we were finding that all of a sudden the podcast was the Jason show and the Peely show. Yeah. <laughs> so we put this together. I guess it's a lot of content, but the thing is that's, it's, it's what we love to do. It's how we're going to get the word out. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And a lot of content is a good thing, especially, you know, from Gary Vee, like more content, the more quality content, the better. So that's phenomenal. And the mothers of multifamily, I'm interested in learning more about that. That is, it just sounds like an amazing project and a, an amazing program as well. That, that's phenomenal stuff, guys. Thank awesome. you. Thank and you. if you want to, if you want really amazing women on this show, just check mm -hmm. out, out Mothers of Multifamily. All of everyone on that roster is phenomenal. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. 
Well, I want to thank you both for taking time out of your afternoon. I mean, with everything that's going on in the world, I appreciate that. And our guests appreciate it as well for you guys just taking the time to share some of your keys to success in your marriage and in your in your union and in your business. I can tell that there's just so much love in with you guys. The way you look at each other is phenomenal. And, and that's another key, I think, to success in business and with relationships is that you really have to enjoy being with the person that you're with. And you can absolutely tell you guys absolutely love each other. And that's just so phenomenal for you guys to share that not only you have the business, but you have the union and you have the communication. So I just want to thank you both so much for taking time out of your afternoon. Thank you for having us. It's been fun. You're very welcome. You're very yeah. welcome. And and really quick, just your Instagrams and your in the name of your group one more time before we go. Perfect. Well, our personal Instagram. So I'm at Keely Rusi. And I'm Jason Rusi. That's Y A R U S I. And Jason and Keely Project. You can find out everything about us there. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Again, it is your girl, Miss Lee, coming to you live from the Keys to Success show, where we interview local business professionals and entrepreneurs. And I want to thank you both for tuning in with us today and for the guests for tuning in with us today as well. Again, until next time, remember to check in every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, where we discuss some of the keys to success. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. Again, it is your girl, Miss Lee. Have a great afternoon. Hello, little one. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank <laughs> you.